a groundbreaking Oz. You don't have to live in agony anymore. Heal your chronic pain. No pills, no surgery. Today, we are changing the practice of medicine. The new invisible treatment your doctor hasn't heard of. It builds a magnetic field around you, going deep into your body. Is this the revolutionary cure you've been waiting for? Are these things for real? This is new cutting edge research. Dr. Oz investigates. This is how we're gonna change medicine together. Thank you very much. I am more excited about this show than any other we have done this season. Because today, we are changing the practice of medicine. And you get the help. Now, if you've tried everything to ease your back pain, your neck pain, foot pain, arthritis pain, then this is the show for you. There's a revolutionary cure for pain that few doctors know about. Because it's not a new pill or surgery. It uses moving magnets energy waves that change the way your body copes with pain. Wait till you see what we found. You may not realize it, and you certainly can't feel it, but inside each of us is a raging electrical storm, a biological whirlwind that controls every cell, every nerve, every muscle, every thought. How you experience pleasure, and even how you experience pain. What if you could harness this powerful force field inside of you to feel better, sleep longer, and most miraculous of all, ease your chronic aches and pains? That's the promise of magnetic therapy, which uses the power of magnetic energy to redirect electrical impulses to the areas where you feel pain, so relief and healing can begin. The FDA has already cleared pulse magnetic therapy for fusing broken bones, treating severe, untreatable depression. And now, to treat post-operative pain and swelling. It sounds like science fiction, but is magnetic therapy for real? Are we finally on the brink of a whole new frontier to reduce, even erase, your pain? Now, just to be clear, we are not talking about static magnets like the kind you stick on the fridge. This is pulsed electromagnetic fields. It's pulsing, moving energy, much more powerful than static magnets. So here's how it could work for your pain. All right, so this is really important. I want you to understand it well. Here's what researchers say magnetic fields are doing inside the body. Inside this mat, there are electrical coils. And when electricity passes through there, it creates a magnetic field that, that moves through the body. And it talks, it whispers to the 75 trillion cells in your body. And it goes deep into your body, places where sports screens and heating pads could never reach. For example, down around the spine, where that red, angry area is. Now, the magnetic field turns on, and when it does it, it, it activates these ions, these charged particles. And there are proteins in there, and there are signals in there. Still stirs these things up, and these charged particles bring in nutrients, but they also begin to influence things like blood supply. Now, when the blood vessels are going in here, the red blood cells are actually stacked. See, they're stacked like that? They're not supposed to be stacked. When they're irritated, that happens. So when you pass magnetic fields through there, that yellow line, it opens up the blood vessel, it breaks apart these red cells, they're not stacked like coins, so you can get deep healing, better oxygen supply, so the healing process takes place. You don't just feel better, you are better. And that's an important advance for us. One that we haven't been you know, really practicing until today, because today we're going to change that. So, Dr. Diller, some of the studies that have been done with these whole body mats that I showed in that animation, and I've got one over here. Let's run over here, and I'll show this to you. So these devices uh, are pretty straightforward. Uh, there are many different ways you can get moving electromagnetic uh, pulses, but this is one of the ways that, that I'm sort of interested in. And uh, I'm going to ask Cranny to come join us. Hey, Cranny, how are you? Good. And you've been using this for the last couple of days. Yes, so. I have been. So, Hello. Uh, Dr. Nice talk to me you. about your back pain a little bit. Well, I've had chronic back pain for five years. I just came here from Chicago. I could barely get on the airplane, sit on the um, seat, um, <laughs> walk up and down stairs, um, even walk a few blocks. I have pain all through my left hip and my lower back. So this it's is a device that I understand you've been using. I've that been could... using it for right. three so, days. So I'm just going to show folks uh, that this is something that has real impact. So. This detects energy waves, and it is able to tell me that we have very little going on over here, but if I bring it over to the mat, it's quite loud. So these waves are invisible, but we can tell that it's working, that the device is on. And this energy field is again created because we're circulating electricity through here, and it builds a magnetic field around you, going deep into your body. 
And as I showed in the animation, it can get to places where a heating pad can't get, where a massage lotion can't get, where, where the kinds of things we often put on our bodies because we have aches and pains can't reach. So would you, would you be interested in lying back just to I'd demonstrate like what to. you've done? So how many times have you tried this? I've used it three days in a row for about um, three hours a day. Three hours a day. So, Doctor, explain to us how this works, at least in theory. Well, this is creating a pulsed electromagnetic field that's going to come up into her body and quiet down the nerves and improve the circulation uh, really throughout her entire body. Now, I've got to ask one other question because it comes up a lot in my mind anyway. Whenever I talk about something that's strong enough to help you, it's often potentially risky as well. Right. So one of the theoretical risks I would think of a device like this uh, would be that it influences your cells in a bad way. For example, it might cause cancers. Right. That's always a concern. But, you know, orthopedic surgeons have been using these electromagnetic fields to heal fractures and non-unions for 20 years now. Make you feel better? Yes, I did. <laughs> that, no one told me it's a possibility. Even. I, don't, I don't think it is a possibility. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I always want to ask these questions because I don't want anyone to think there's any, anything free out there. Right. Everything has potential risks to it. So how are you feeling on this? Relaxed. And has it made any difference in the back pain that you're experiencing? You can sit up. I more. felt uh, when I was walking today to the studio a little bit better in my hip area. So how long on average would, it, would someone have to lie on one of these mats to get a benefit? Well, these devices have been tested 10 to, 10 to 12 weeks in terms of the research. But if, for people with really bad acute pain, sometimes they'll respond in two to three weeks. Right. Well, thank you for trying it for a couple You're days. Welcome. I'm actually curious about longer term use of these products. And so we wanted to reach out to someone who had actually been trying it. And we caught up with a police officer who says it changed his life. As a police officer, the pain impacted me tremendously. I'm trying to get in and out of the car, trying to deal with offenders. It's hard to do that type of job when you're in that kind of extreme back pain. The pain started um, 10 years ago. It was very bad. To the point where I couldn't, couldn't function as a human being. I, literally, I would be laying on the floor trying to do every kind of stretch and I would have to call into work, sit home, lay on the floor with ice on my back. It was bad. I tried chiropractors, medicine, and nothing seemed to work. Then I started researching online everything to do with back pain. And the one that struck my eye was electromagnetic therapy. As soon as I got the machine, I remember opening it up, I immediately plugged it in. I was in less pain from just one treatment. I woke up the next day and I started hitting it three times a day. Within six to eight weeks, the pain was gone. I have no pain today at all. So what, Mike, welcome to the show. So how is life different now that you've tried these magnetic therapies? Uh, it's, it's tremendously different. Um, Pain-free, completely. You're kidding me. No. I mean, describe your pain before this all started. It was uh, intense. Um, I'd be laying on the floor with ice packs, um, seeing doctors, seeing chiropractors. Um, and um, then the pain just got so bad that I needed to look into something else. And did you talk to your doctor about it? Um, I talked to, um, actually, I talked to him. No, actually, I didn't. I didn't talk to him. <laughs> I, I was... Why were you I, hesitating? Were you, were you embarrassed about not talking to your doctor? Um, a little bit, yeah, I think I was. This is, for me, the biggest point of this show. Yeah. I don't want you ever embarrassed if you find something that works for you, just because we didn't know about it. I made a big promise to you folks when we started the program. I said, we're going to change medicine today. This is a novel idea, and I'm proud that we're able to uncover it and, and describe it to you guys, but what's going to change medicine is not me talking about it. It's going to be you not being embarrassed to talk to the folks that are governing you in terms of your health, that are giving you advice, that are trying to heal you. You need to tell your doctor. Do you know why? Because every other patient that that doctor sees is going to benefit because you were willing to put your hand up and say, you know what? I was having bad pain. I wasn't getting relief. The medications, the injections, the operations, they weren't working for me. I want to try this new therapy out. And you know what? It worked for me. Please share it with other people. That's how we learn in medicine. I'm asking you to help us. I'm asking okay. all of you to play a role in improving the care we give you. If you go back to your doctor and tell them you did this and it helped you, they're going to be curious about this. Okay. And I've got some tips for you on how to do that. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's well worth it because, by the way, not being able to work and having other issues. No amount of money you can't put on an injury like that with your back pain. Now, I'm, you know, I'm at, I'm at work. You know, my, heavy, my duty belt's about 20, 25 pounds, all that extra mm -hmm. strain on your on your back with an injury like that, yeah. it, it was, going to work was, was hard. 
So now it's like I put the belt on, and I'm out there, and I'm doing my job, and I'm doing a good job at it. Well, I'm sure you were. Thank you. Listen, which I think is a pretty reasonable thing to try. See if it works for you. If you're getting no benefit, don't waste your money. You can also pull your resources together. If a couple people have different aches and pains, I, I don't want you investing a lot of money and being taken advantage of. But I do want you getting access to this to try this in your life. So, Dr. Dillard, you know, I've already asked you why you know, we don't have this in every clinic. Help me understand how long it will take for this to be afforded and offered to patients when they come in with bad back pain uh, because they're you know, carrying their holster around trying to save us. Well, I'm hoping that it will be um, a change that occurs more rapidly because of shows like this, because of courageous patients like this. And if we were doing such a great job with chronic pain in this country, why would we have 116 million Americans suffering with chronic pain, according to the Institute of Medicine? We have got to be able to help our patients better than we are right now. Hell yeah. You know, we talked to a university researcher who did a clinical trial on osteoarthritis, another chronic pain that we don't do so well with. They haven't published the data yet, so they didn't want to come on the show. But people who used the mats had less pain after 12 weeks of therapy. They were sleeping better, which is a major, major way that we evaluate whether you really are truly healing. So, Dr. Dillard, that mat over there, who shouldn't use it? Well, clearly, uh, pregnant women, uh, people with heart pacemakers should not use that. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, as far as we can tell, it's a very safe device. Because when we come back, I'm going to talk to you about other magnetic devices you can get into your own home. They're inexpensive, affordable. They're the ones that I actually recommend that you try for some of the aches and pains that are afflicting so many of you. Be right back. <laughs> now, imagine these globes here are your vertebrae, right? And this is what your spine looks like. So I've got four audience members to help me do this. When you have back pain, there's swelling and inflammation in between the bones. These ladies are the magnetic force field that sends pulses of energy into the spine to ease inflammation. So, are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, now, we actually have energy inside of us, so we're going to be able to be the magnet for today. So, we're going to start off. I'll go first. This is the very top of the spine. I touch, and I unify it. Now, keep going. Then you touch it, and then we're the magnet's moving. It moves. It moves. And even one more further, and finally, it's done. And then it cycles back again. Now, these moving magnetic fields change the way electricity, ions, positive and negative charges move throughout your body, including your spine. They affect your cartilage. They affect the bones. They affect the nerves that take pain fibers from there. And by doing that, they influence how we act. Now, the theory is that it turns on certain signals in the body. These are not novel concepts, but these signals could change inflammation. They could affect how we repair cells. And if you don't think this is real, who here has had an MRI scan? A lot of folks. You know, MRI scans work on the basic principles that magnets do, right? They are magnets. And so we have magnets in use in hospitals every single day. We just don't use them normally to treat pain. And that's going to change after today's show. So Dr. James Dillard is a world-class pain specialist who practiced with me at New York Presbyterian Hospital for many years. So Dr. Dillard, are these things for real? I mean, how can magnetic therapies help ease pain? Because the electromagnets actually affect the nerve cells. Mm -hmm. uh, nerve cells are electrical cells. And the magnetic fields can actually affect how the nerves fire and quiet them down without using drugs that most people are used to and increase uh, circulation in the area and aid the healing. You take care of a lot of patients. When folks come to you and they want medications or surgery or needles, how do you convince them that magnets might be a better solution? Well, I actually don't have to convince a lot of these people. A lot of my pain patients they're sick of having too much morphine, oxycodone. They're sick of all the injections. Yeah. And I, I'm trained to do that, too. Many of my patients, and remember, more than one out of every three Americans is suffering with chronic pain now. Oh. One out of every three. Many, many of my patients want to try something other than drugs, unnecessary surgeries, damaging surgeries, and these deep injections. So a lot of patients, I don't actually have to convince them. They want to try something else.